What's up everyone? John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo here. Today is Mountain Lion release day. It is July 25th, 2012 and the latest iteration of OS 10 is upon us. I'm putting down like I've got a mountain lion on my desk. There are over 200 new features crammed into this latest version of Apple's desktop operating system. I want to show you just a few. Uh, obviously, there are a lot more we can talk about. And I look forward to sharing those with you as I get a chance to use the operating system a bit more. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So you know what they say, trust but verify. So let me show you that I am running OS 10 Mountain Lion, and that is OS 10.8. Here it is, OS 10 version 10.8, uh, running on a Mac Pro. Go ahead and close out of that guy. Uh, so let me go ahead and show you some of the newfangled stuff that we've got. Uh, first, let's start with look and feel, because some things here won't look and feel different. Down at the dock, for example, we've got the sort of metal gray bar stuff going on behind those icons. And living below those are little lights that show you when an application is open or not. Uh, they're very hard to see. They almost look recessed in the bottom of it. I liked previous versions. You could really see what was open. A little bit more difficult now in Mountain Lion. So something to keep in mind. Uh, if you like to customize your dock like I do, you may be familiar that you could remove applications from it by just dragging them out and letting go and it would disappear. Um, but you also sometimes got some accidental removals from your dock as you were opening up applications. Maybe you didn't let go of the mouse in time and you just dragged it right off. Well, Apple sort of fixed that. You can remove things here from either right clicking and going to remove. Otherwise, you can still drag it off, but you have to take a little while longer. So if you hold it up, 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 and then boom, that little crumpled paper shows up. You can see it right there and then you can go ahead and let go of it if you want. So a little bit further, something Happened to be kind of fun that I discovered uh, inside of OS 10 Mountain Lion. Maybe it's one of those 200 new features. Um, I don't know. Uh, for me, one of the flagship features, though, of OS 10 is Notification Center. Uh, really taken right from iOS, and that's something we're going to see as a theme throughout this tour. Uh, so it's going to live right here in the upper right-hand corner. Go ahead and click it, and your whole screen is going to shift over, and you can see all kinds of notifications. I've got Twitter right here. You can go ahead and click the tweet, and we'll talk about that in just a moment. And I've got calendar and mail showing up. Get rid of it. You can go ahead and just click it again. Otherwise, there's all kinds of fancy, sweet motions you can do if you're using a multi-touch trackpad uh, or even from a Magic Mouse. Uh, to go ahead and tweak those settings, go into System Preferences, and there's a new icon here called Notifications. This is going to let you add all kinds of business. So a share button if you want to share stuff. Uh, calendar, Facebook, Game Center, Mail, Messages, Reminders, Safari, Google, Chrome, and Twitter all live here. Facebook will be coming sometime in the fall. And you can show stuff in a few different ways. First, you can have no alerts that show up. You can have banners, which appear in the upper right-hand corner, then go away. You can have alerts that are going to show up and so you tell them to skedaddle and scram. I prefer banners because sometimes I don't want to always drag my mouse up there to get rid of it. But that's a personal preference kind of thing. And that is Notification Center. Cool. Uh, another cool feature that we've got living here is voice dictation. Let me show you voice dictation using one of the new applications also found in OS X Mountain Lion, and that's Notes. Once again, taken from iOS. So to access it, and access it the same way uh, via all, really almost all, uh, Apple first party applications, double tap the function button on your keyboard. This is a test of voice dictation on OS X Mountain Lion, period. Go ahead and hit done, let it think, and it'll start thinking, and boom, Mountain Mine. Uh, pretty close, but not 100% accurate. A great way to respond to emails, though, uh, or send text via Messages app, which is another new thing here. Uh, gone is iChat. We now have Messages, so you can do iMessage right from your desktop. Uh, hopefully, this voice dictation will come to other third-party applications, like Microsoft Office, for example. But don't hope that you're going to find Siri hidden here, because she is not to be found. Maybe we'll see it in 10.9? Who knows? Or maybe a whole new version, OS 11, uh, will have Siri built in, but... She's not here. Uh, so another new application, definitely taken from iOS as well, is Reminders. And that does what you think it does. It reminds you to do stuff. I've got a very important reminder uh, right here as well. So if you were big into Reminders on your iOS device, you've now got it here on your desktop. And of course, using iCloud, everything will sync up and play nicely. That was my sync up with the arrows spinning around. Sort of worked in my head. Uh, so that is also here as well. Uh, another new feature and one that I'm probably not going to use very much is Game Center, but it does live here and you can go ahead and do some gaming uh, if you'd like to do that. So hey, Game Center, hooray. 
Uh, another new thing we've got is Twitter integration. I mentioned Facebook will be coming soon, but it's not here quite yet. You want to access it, go into Mail and Contact, and you can add your Twitter account, and you can send tweets right from Notification Center. Uh, you can also share stuff and tweet stuff right from Safari as well. Lots of sort of new options hidden uh, inside of here. Overall, it's been a pretty nice experience for the two hours I've been using it. Uh, I'm looking forward to using it a bit more. I really want to check out uh, AirPlay mirroring. You can sort of AirPlay and show exactly what's on your screen, including video, to an equipped Apple TV, as long as you're on the same network, uh, but not had a chance to test that one out yet. Uh, again, these are probably six or seven of the 200 new features, so there are 190-ish left to check out and explore. Um, stuff like updating while it's sleeping. You've got some new security settings uh, and all kinds of other goodness here uh, as well. Thus far, though, I've not had any issues with app uh, compatibility, so that's nice. Uh, what are your favorite features? Love to hear your comments. Leave them down below. I'm John Reitinger from Techno Buffalo, and I'm going to explore Mountain Lion. Rawr! That was, that was my scary mountain lion roar.